Hey there. Sorry in advance of the possible wind. Uh, and yesterday we had a, quite a storm. There's uh, tree branches everywhere. And uh, I'm surprised the power didn't go out several times, but it didn't. So I'm thankful for that. Anyway, um, until earlier today, I didn't really realize that when people say that race is purely a social construct, that they were being completely serious. I thought it was mainly just a figure of speech to just basically try to declare that um, any differences that there might be between races are negligible. That's what I thought was said. That's what I thought was being said, but there are, there are people that actually believe this shit. Just like people are saying that sex is a social construct. Okay, I'll agree that gender is a social construct, but sex? Biological sex? We're getting to this point where social justice is becoming just as much in denial of science as religious people are. And that's because it's kind of becoming a religion. And I, I am genuinely concerned about this. Um, I think most people can agree that the differences between races are really negligible. Um, but to claim that it's a social construct just to begin with? There are treatments that doctors uh, give that are a bit different depending on someone's race because there are some of the organs, uh, let's just say they deteriorate differently, that's not really the right way of wording it, but um, there are different heart issues, uh, different ways that people build up cholesterol, uh, different ways that people get high blood pressure that are based on race. I mean, these, this is, <laughs> if doctors uh, weren't taking that in consideration, there'd be a lot of people dying because they're, uh, you know, and is that what social justice wants? Does social justice, you know, is in the name of social justice, should doctors stop that uh, practice? We should just let people die because of, of social justice? And now we'll wait for the plane because I live near the court. There was a song I made one time that was, uh, I, I, I took the sound of a plane and got rid of that, oh, I forget what the effect is called, like when, when, when something goes by and you hear it going, and it does that, what is, I forgot what that effect is called, but I uh, used SoundForge to make it so it never changed pitch. <laughs> and then I looped it, found the right loop point for it and turned it into an instrument. It was kind of weird. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> so, but as far as, I mean, are we going to deny evolution? That's what it seems we'd have to do if we were to, to state that there, there, there are no differences. It's all social, well, <laughs> depending on what geographic location that different humans evolved in, um, I mean, different geographic locations call for different things that are necessary to survive. Different things are necessary, so those are the things that are going to be uh, more pronounced. And this isn't to say that, that there's uh, there's this intelligence thing that's, you know, oh, this is more, this race is more intelligent. You know, it's just, there are different, um, there's going to be some different thinking patterns based off of the way that we evolved. 
Now, these thinking patterns don't... They would be a very slight predisposition. They wouldn't be anything that affects anything to an extreme. Um, it's not to say that if someone ha has these genes that they will they will act a certain way. No, it's not like that. Um, you know, th these things are negligible. These differences are negligible. But they're certainly not a social construct. That's, that's, that's crazy talk. How many more things are we going to uh, deny when it comes to science? How, how much more science denial are we going to do in the name of social justice? That's just disturbing to me. How much further is it going to go?